Well, let me tell you something, brother. Snort, snort, snort. Cody, drip, snort, snort. I got the drip. So, all right. <clears throat> Here's the big update, ladies and gentlemen, I have for all of you. All right. All things considered, everything going on, all right, uh, as of today, the documentary is canceled, all right? And I'm going to tell you why, because there's a few major factors involved in this decision, all right? And it was not an easy decision to make because I've been working on this for months with Mike, and we've been going back and forth about stuff, and it was a tough one, all right? But allow me to explain what's actually going on. All right, so number one, to do a documentary like this is going to be incredibly time consuming. I'm talking weeks of work, likely away from being here and streaming with you guys or really broken schedules and messed up stuff, right? So for example, entire days of filming, that I'm not streaming at all, a day where my schedule's way off and I'm doing kind of a half stream and then I'm running around. We're talking time, uh, days I probably wouldn't even see my wife because I'd be so busy, right? And again, not just filming here, but also filming, I'm having to travel and go around to do this filming and stuff like that. So just that number one, that's a big endeavor. And by the way, that's not the reason why I'm coming to this decision, but it's a factor in it, okay? Um, but basically... There's so many other factors going on. Some of these you guys know and some of you don't. Like for example, I've got personal stuff going on behind the scenes in my life that none of you have any idea about, all right? You just don't, because I don't share a lot of my personal stuff with you guys. You, as you know, over the last year, there's been a few t days where I've told you guys things are going on. I'm just, I'm not in the right mindset or I'm not feeling well because of stuff. And that stuff's ongoing. So already, I'm kind of already at a limit of kind of stress in my life right now with that stuff going on. Um, and that really sucks, all right? And let me, let me also put it this way, okay? <clears throat> in order for this documentary to work, it would need to be even-sided, right? So you need to have an equal level of good and bad, balanced. What's happened is, since the word of the documentary hit the internet, there's 98% of the interest is the toxic negative. Everyone who hates me wants to be a part of this thing or have input in it so they can slam me and make me look terrible, just like they do on a daily basis for personal gain on YouTube, right? So that's where the interest lies. My viewers and my fans and those who actually like me have reached out to me over the last several weeks. And some of you, I want to appreciate every one of you who reached out to me and gave me your true feelings about this, all right? I had people who I haven't heard from in years reach out to me and say, don't do this documentary. That basically, this is not gonna work. That it's just gonna end up being a field day for people to bring up old shit that I've grown out of, but act like it just happened, right? And there's other people also who basically are like, you know, I'd like to be a part of this. Like, I'd like to, to, to support you as a fan, but how could we viably do that? And I mean, you're talking about like, for example, let's say we wanted to have a fan of mine be a part of this documentary. Well, you don't want to give up their identity because trolls actually harass my fans if they can. They've doxxed them, they've messed with their personal lives. So what are we gonna do? Like create an identity protection situation where we have to black their face out and voice change them and film them in a dark room and just to have a fan of mine talk positively about me, right? Like, how crazy is that when you really think about it? And, you know, I want to say thank you because, again, there were a few people who I was working with to get, basically be kind of those people. And I appreciate that a couple people did step up and said they actually would do it. But do I really want to put people through that? Because, again, what you guys got to understand here is this is not just about me anymore. But if I were younger, if this were me back in Connecticut, in my condo in Connecticut, and the documentary was being made about me. It's just about me. Who cares, right? But now I'm older, I'm more mature, and I realize that this affects everyone, not just me. So I, uh, my concern here is listening to all of your feedback. Here's the feedback that generally I've gotten from you guys in the last two weeks since basically this was announced, right? 
since the side scrollers interview so much drama happened you know first there was the fallout from that interview and literally three or four months where those guys ragged on me did constant streams about me stuttering craig wanted to come on my content you know bullshit all nonsense just to make money and then finally they shut the fuck up but then keemstar interjected himself because he now wanted to get popularity with this lol cow podcast bullshit and then he persisted for months and months with that and then finally now we're at a time and a level where the air is clearing and things are calm and there's nothing really going on in the drama sphere at all and people are actually just enjoying coming by and being a part of my content and not having to hear about this nonsense and that nonsense and this nonsense and that nonsense now here's the thing there's always going to be some nonsense right now with these trolls and the stupid false gifted memberships and all that there will always be a level of that but the thing is there's some things you can ignore and there's some things you can't really ignore or can't control the whole nonsense with the fake memberships is easily controllable you ignore it you ban the person you move on but if you've got every person on the internet talking again about me in a negative drama way it's going to affect everyone again right and right now we're in a situation where i'm really stressed out already i'm also incredibly busy you know not only am i running dsp gaming but now i got this new project with dsp throwback that was already in the works and going right and now that's that's hitting full swing with its first stream and everything and i got to be focusing somewhat on that i'm still maintaining the react show every week once a week and i'm trying to find new content for that in fact we need to start talking about the super bowl event tomorrow to start planning it um <clears throat> and then on top of all of that my wife has finally made the decision to come back into my content and cat now has been here on two streams which have been awesome and now we're trying to plan out the content where she can do co-op gameplay and commentary with me and that's a lot of work too to figure that all out right <clears throat> so it's kind of like we got all this stuff going on already and now it's like oh yeah by the way now we got a plan to have all this time away from work so i could film and i can do this and i got to travel to do this and that and then on top of all of that just so you guys know there is one other factor that just happened this week and i'm not going to tell you guys about it right now maybe eventually i would bring it up but i'm not going to right now but there was another huge determining factor that just happened and that was basically the straw that broke the camel's back as they say and i was like i just can't do this all right so just to make this official all right it is canceled it's not oh it's delayed or whatever the documentary is canceled all right now i'm not saying that i wouldn't do something like this again or consider doing it again in the future i'm saying right now this is not the time the climate or the level of stress to really be taking on a project like this okay it's not definitely things could change maybe right in the future perhaps if things get better if you know if the stress level lowers if my time frees up a little bit more right but basically i'm in a situation here here's the the truth of the matter here is that this is a big gamble think of it this way let's say that i did this documentary right and it went really well all of a sudden there's a fair balanced way to look at me and all of a sudden a bunch of new people are exposed to my content and they come over to the channel and our community grows and it's better for the business and for everything that could happen right it could but the thing is it could it's not a guarantee it could very well go the other way it could go the other way that i do this documentary and again some of these old things things about my past that are not me anymore but you're talking about you know things from my street fighter days things from my early days of youtube shit that doesn't apply to me in 2024 but things that people are only just hearing about for the very first time and now they become an emphasis for certain people and now people oh that's that guy who did that 20 years ago right or this or that and that could be really bad for us all right it could put us in a worse light as a community not just me but it could put us in a worse light as a community together and that is a risk that right now I'm not willing to take. That my sins of the past are somehow gonna rub off on us in 2024 and make us all be treated like dirt, right? And there is also one other thing, all right? I feel like this documentary, because I told you guys this when I started talking about it a couple weeks ago, I said this documentary would be the one. And what I meant about that, is that this would be the one 
thing I do that if I did this documentary, this would be it. I'm not going to do a second documentary in five more years. I'm not going to do a ton more interviews and all this shit. This is it. This is the one big project, right? That's going to encompass all of me, my history, who I am yesterday, today, how I've evolved and all of that, right? All together. And I'm not sure that we're at the point that we're ready for that yet. Like I've said, I'm 41 years old, but I'm not going anywhere. Unlike all these other YouTubers who all of a sudden have decided together that they want to not do YouTube anymore. Oh, I can't take it anymore. The stress and all these years of doing it, I, I gotta quit. But no, you're quitting because you're rich. You're quitting because literally you're filthy rich. You hit the algorithm right, you got lucky, then you rode the wave with your thumbnails and your clickbait titles, and you put out your content for 10 years or whatever, you got filthy rich doing it the way everyone does it, and now you're quitting because you don't need to work anymore. That's what's going on. I mean, it's, it's a very simple explanation for why so many YouTubers are quitting. And it's not, oh, the YouTube exodus, people don't like working on YouTube. It's because these people are rich and don't have to work anymore, right? They already made it big. Now, you can judge for yourself whether or not these people have a level of passion for their work or not. Personally, for me, I've told you guys, if I hit the lotto today and I became a multimillionaire and I didn't have to work a day in my life, I would still stream. Now, I wouldn't stream the capacity that I do now. I'm not going to stream six days a week full time. But I love this so much because I have passion for it. I love what I do and I love having interactions with you guys. I would keep doing it in some capacity, right? And there you go with YouTubers who, oh, well, now we're in a situation we don't have to work anymore. I quit. Well, I'm not like them because I, you know, first of all, I'm never going to make it big. I'm never going to become a multimillionaire doing this, okay? I'm not going to. I'm too small time. And I'm too stuck in my own mindset of how to do stuff. I refuse to do all those things that all of them did to get rich. I don't do any of those things. I'm not going to do those fucking things ever, okay? Um, that's why I'm different. But that's also why I'm kind of going to be at this level likely for the rest of my life, right? Um, so if I'm going to do a documentary, I want to do it when I feel like it's time to tell my whole story. But I don't think my whole story's happened yet. I think my story is still happening right now and will continue to happen and evolve positively. Right now, like I said, not only am I maintaining a gaming channel, but I got a React channel and now I've got a throwback channel. And this is going to be a fun year of kind of doing stuff on those and juggling them around and having a good time with all of you. This is a great year for games. Like right now, we've got a bunch of great games uh, coming out that I'm very happy to be playing and everything. So I'm not ready to say this is my story and here it is and I'm done with it now. Like, I I feel like maybe down the road, right, that's something to consider. But I don't think that now is the time at all. I feel like the, the right decision here is because there's nothing toxic and negative really going on right now because we're all having a good time. We're about to start new releases. We're about to start this new year a very positive way, all this good stuff going on. And because of the feedback I've gotten, I've gotten direct feedback from family members, viewers, longtime fans, you know, writing me out of the blue and everyone just tossing their opinion into the ring. And the consensus I'm getting right now is that it doesn't make sense. That's what I'm getting. That the consensus right now is, no, definitely don't think about this right now. You know, don't do it right now. May, again, you know, maybe in the future or whatever, but basically don't do it now because this is going to be a second side scrollers. Now, here's the thing. I don't believe that. I don't believe that this documentary is going to be a second side scrollers because this is not a hit piece on me, right? But at the same time, I'm totally understanding where people are coming from, where they're saying it's going to primarily be a lot of drama for a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Like tons of drama. And no one wants that level of drama. People just want me to be happy and to put out good content that they enjoy and that's what but my true fans who are supportive of me who come by every day and support my content no matter what it is i'm doing what it is i'm playing what project i'm working on what channel i'm on those people aren't seeking more drama right and this no matter what this documentary was going to cause drama and so i think this is the right decision for now and again maybe in the future 
I would change my mind, but for right now, it is canceled. It's not postponed. It's not on the back burner. It's canceled. I'm not doing it, all right? But maybe that would change in a while, depending on the climate, depending on how things look, right? Who knows how things change at, over time? Who would have thought that today I'd be doing this? Like what, five, six years ago, I never would have thought that I'd be doing what I'm doing today. And then five years before that, I probably wouldn't have thought I would have been in that situation. And my life changes a lot. So that's my feeling on it, all right? And by the way, yeah, the schedule's not updated. I didn't update it. I'll have to update it. I keep forgetting to do that. I'll do it in a minute when I'm done saying what I have to say about this because people keep typing the schedule and it's wrong. Um, so yeah, that's the deal. So I want to say, first of all, thank you to everyone who gave me feedback. I appreciate your honest feedback. Thank you very much to those who actually stepped up and were going to help with this project because, I, like I said, I was talking with a few people about being a part of the project on the positive side of things. And they were very willing to help, even at great personal risk of being harassed as, a, as you know, because they were going to participate in this. I also want to thank Mike Klum. I want you guys to understand something. Mike has been absolutely positively nothing but professional at all. In this whole situation, he's been 100% professional. This decision has nothing to do with him whatsoever. Zero. This is my personal decision based on my life situation and my things going on. Nothing to do with him. He's been completely accommodating. 100%. He's listened to every concern I ever had. And this was going to be something that was going to be safe. Right? This is not going to be a team storms into my house with cameras, starts filming, and just slaps it all over the internet. And now next thing you know, everyone's harassing me and my family because all my shit's on the internet. That's not what this is going to be. All right, you, I want everyone to understand that. Um, and hopefully, he'll be able to, to, to make quality stuff. I, from what I understand, he is working on other stuff that's going to be good. I wish, I wish him the best in the future, um, but it's just not for me right now. I know for me and my family as well, because again, it's not just me. It's not for me, it's not for my family, and it's not for my community right now. All right? It's just not the right time. Fair enough? Okay, fair enough. That's the announcement. So I'm sure you guys are all going to have questions. Just to, to warn you all, if it's personal questions and shit, I'm not going to answer it. All right? But if you guys have general questions about the situation, I'm willing to talk about it. I got the drip going. 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 It's like a faucet that's dripping. You can't make it stop. So what do you want me to do? Have a have a mute button that every second I'm tapping the mute button just in case I, so I'm gonna have to clear. Like this is what I mean. These, these dumb kids. This is what it is. It's dumb kids.